In this video, you're going to learn the difference between accommodations and modifications. Children with diagnosed dyslexia should be represented under IDEA, the Individuals with Disabilities Act, meaning they fall under special education umbrella and have access to many federal protections in their educational planning. One of these critical areas that help to facilitate success for a student with dyslexia are accommodations and modifications. As a parent of a child in special education, it is important that you understand the difference. Most typically, a student with dyslexia is using accommodations, but in some cases they are accessing modifications. Accommodations are not the same thing as modifications. In a nutshell, an accommodation changes how the student learns the material, and a modification changes what the student is taught or expected to learn. In the earlier educational years, the differences can be slight and are more permissible. But as we approach the high school years, it's key critical that we know when a child is receiving several modifications, since this can impact the type of high school diploma that they're receiving. If your child with dyslexia is receiving a significant amount of modifications to their curriculum in order to be successful, this is a flag that the school has not properly done their job. Let's boil this down into a few examples for clarity, looking at ages by grade level and how things might look different. Remember, an accommodation changes how a student learns the material and a modification changes what the student is taught or expected to learn. As it pertains to spelling in first grade, an example of an accommodation is a reduction in the number of spelling words in a pattern. When five can prove that they understand and can apply the concept, five is sufficient, not 10. An example of a modification for that same student would be that they're not expected to be tested on the sight words, but are expected to do the phonetic-based spelling items. See the difference in how it can be slight? This is an actual example from my personal son. He receives a modification in first grade because it's very pertinent to where he is in his dyslexia journey right now. Now let's look at the difference for a high school student in accommodation versus modification. Let's say we're reading some literature in class that is part of a curriculum requirement. An accommodation would be that the student with dyslexia might listen to an audio version of the same book but it's the same book that the rest of the class is reading. The audio book is simply helping that student access the same learning expectation as everyone else in the class. A child with a modification could be assigned a shorter or easier reading assignment or text that's different from the, uh, the rest of the class. This is because students who receive modifications are not expected to learn the same material as their classmates. This lends to the understanding of why at the high school level you would receive a different type of diploma if you receive extensive modifications from those who are simply receiving accommodations to the same curriculum requirements as their peers. Please visit us at dyslexiaondemand.com to schedule a personal meeting with me to learn more about how we can change the life of your child. And please like and follow for more educational videos like this one.